All right, guys, happy Saturday. It's 28th of October, getting ready for Halloween, but it's gonna be 80 degrees today. It's gorgeous out here, 10 out of 10. For Maryland, this is why we live here. It's just beautiful this time of year. And we'll have some beautiful days in November also. And we're gonna split some more firewood. Why? Well, the reason being, why are we split more firewood? I don't really need any more firewood, but I hate to throw out white oak. And there was a couple of white oaks that were dead in the woods. And they're not quite big enough to make um, saw logs out of them or saw boards out of them. So we'll cut them up into firewood. So Alan was kind enough to stop by um, this week and Alan and I dropped three trees. And part of the motivation there was to try out our new chainsaws. Uh, we both bought 261 MC chainsaws. They're fabulous. Um, it's three pounds lighter than my 461, not including the bar. So it's a whole lot lighter, a lot easier to use, especially on the smaller trees. Now the bigger trees, different story. So let's talk about the log splitter and what we got here. It's a homemade log splitter, and I've just done some work on it. It has a Honda GX390 engine. It's a 13 horsepower engine. Um, they don't make them anymore. Haldex Barnes, 22 gallon per minute, two stage pump. So it does 22 gallons per minute, um, but then it goes down to like half of that when it needs to pump up to 2,500 PSI. A 25 gallon tank with 20 gallons of hydraulic oil in it, a big beam here, which I bent, sadly. Um, pressure gauge, which is useless, a filter. What's important about this, what's a little bit different is we have these um, levers here. Let me talk about them a little bit. When you pull these forward, the ram, which is a big ram, goes forward and automatically comes back. Uh, that, and it also has a four-way wedge. Not everybody's a fan of those. And uh, frickin' Jeep is right. You always have to lift it up and down a little bit sometimes because wood jabs under there. But it works well. The important thing is, the log lift, and it's for old geezers like me, because it's getting harder and harder to lift up this wood. Uh, what else can we tell you about it? Um, it's quick. If you're gonna be splitting firewood, if you wanna split firewood, you need to have a hydraulic ram moving all the time. If the ram ain't moving, you ain't splitting. So, um, and what determines the speed of the ram? The speed determined by the gallons per minute and the diameter of your piston. If you had a bigger diameter piston, it's gonna go slower. Smaller, it'll go faster. So let me show you what we're splitting today. So again, this is Paul's idea, not my idea. I've got to this white oak in the wagon. I've got a bunch more in the woods. And then I've got some here that Al and I dropped off, ready to split. That'll be nice. Oh, that was a that was an acorn hitting my hitting my coat. Ouch! Man, maybe I should wear a helmet back here. Those son of a guns are gonna hurt if they hit. So this is new, the totes. I'm trying these guys out. Um, I like it because I can lift them up with the forks of my tractor when it's full. It's a great way to store wood. We certainly don't need any more wood, but that's the way it goes. Um, let's talk about the engine on this, the Honda 390 engine, because that's important. So the Honda 390 engine is a great engine. It's a Honda, and it starts first time every time like it's supposed to. But what was happening is it was not starting the first time, and it was causing me issues. Um, it was not starting on the first pull like it always used to. I'm like, what's up with this? It's a Honda. Hondas are famous for starting on our first pull. I took the valve cover off, which was pretty easy, and I adjusted the valves. And I did a couple tests, and it looks like it's starting on the first try again. So adjust your valves, it's important, and it's easy to do. So uh, with all that babble done, let's see if this thing starts. Power on, this, choke, this, blah, blah, blah. All right, wish me luck, no music. Yeah. Fail. Is it turned on? Yes. All right, it took two. I'll go with two. Two is fine. So uh, let's put some firewood. The way the hydraulic system works is this would normally be forward and back because it had some pressure in it. This one here, when it gets to the end, when it reaches 2500 psi, it pops out and then it automatically returns. This is for the log lift up and down. This is for the four-way wedge up and down. It makes it a little bit more complicated with the hydraulic setup. And frankly, um, I was shocked because I built this, I don't know, 15, 20 years ago. The hydraulic hoses were $1,000 at the time. And that's not from your vegetable store which sells hydraulic hoses. That's from a, you know, one people who are a whole lot less money. But uh, they did a good job. They made custom hoses for it. But the hoses are horribly expensive. Today, I don't know what it would cost to build something like this. The engine, as you know, you can figure out what are the 390 costs, the wedge, blah, blah, blah. Plus your time, what is your time worth? So uh, back to work, let me split some more up. Uh, but I hope that makes a little bit of sense. 
Well, it started on the first, on the second pull, which Wayne was happy with two poles. That means it's right. Before I was pulling, 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 trying to find start and ether. <laughs> what a pain. So these are white oaks in the back of here. They're, see the whiter bark? See how it's kind of long here? So that's a whiter oak. White oak lasts for, white oak lasts forever pretty much as firewood. And it's very rot resistant. It's really good wood. It's what they made the USS Constitution out of, white oak. Whiskey barrels, white oak. Why don't they make them out of red oak? Because red oak is porous. This is red oak here, which I'm splitting. I didn't know I had a pile of red oak, but apparently I have a pile of red oak. So I'll um, split some more red oak and uh, on with the program here. Let me see if she starts up. 
which I'm sure she will, and then do some more. Now time to stack up a little bit more. Let me turn it off so you don't have to watch me stack firewood. That cannot be too exciting. We're making progress here. Here's what we got done. Not quite full. Not as good as if Paula was gonna do it, but it's okay, because Wayno's doing it. And we're here, we've got some larger white oaks. This is why we have a log lift. Fortunately though, 
it's easy, thank you Paul for that brilliant idea, park the trailer next to the log arch, or log lift, and the splitter, and then we're good to go. So uh, let me split these guys up and get cracking, jacking, otherwise.
Well, I think that's about enough for this video. And I've got a pile of wood left here. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with it all because here's what I got left in the back of the wagon. I got one, two, three, four, five, seven big wheels. Not huge, but big enough. The tote's not entirely full, but I might split one more. But I think we're about done splitting wood here for this guy. Looks good. Whole process takes like an hour. It's not a big deal. It's kind of fun to do. I don't mind doing it at all. And it's nice. Log splitter works great. Honda motor's firing up as it should. Well, it starts on a second pull. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't do the valves right. But I get it started up on a second pull, and then we're good to go. So thanks so much for watching. You guys have a great day.